Hello everyone, it's Dan from Squid Gaming, and I'm playing Skyrim, and I've got myself, my horse, and my ram companion. It's not actually my companion, I'm just following him around because he looks cool. He's just running away from me. A bad goat. Sheep. Whatever he is. Anyways, we haven't put up a video for a couple of weeks now, which... Oh, shit! Are they, are they friendly, or...? No, they're, they're Imperials, this is not good. Something always distracts me while I want to go on to a certain point. Right, fuck them, I'm going to talk. Um, we haven't put up a video for a while, James is still in his basement playing Skyrim, and I'm still in mine playing Modern Warfare 3, although I have um, played a little bit of this game since I am playing on Bio Entertainment's computer. Uh, his channel is in the description if you want to go check him out. Um, and uh, see his videos. He's got a few Skyrim videos going up, maybe more. And so I'm just going to give you my first impressions of the game, just literal, literally first impressions. Um, and this is difficult for me to concentrate because I am very, very new to this, to this that specific game. Um, it is three o'clock in the morning, so I'm pretty tired as well. So forgive me if I ramble. About things. Um, firstly, this game just feels really smooth. Just personally, I just feel that this game is just—it's it, so easy to just just look through this, especially with this inventory system where you can see the the objects in like a 3D form here. I think it's really awesome. Really awesome. Let's have a look at what weapons Bio's got here. Iron arrows. Um, gonna gonna put that on. Cause that's what I had before. Take out this guy with my flames. Right, he was pretty easy to kill. Sniped. Oh. Oh god, he's got a sword now. Take that. Come at me. Oh, look at this guy, see if I can get him. Yes, mate. No, I'm gonna go up to him. Anyways, Modern Warfare 3, I am probably gonna give you a little bit more information and first impressions of that game than this one. Um, but just starting with this one, they've made the engine around sort of uh, obviously making the textures brilliant like look at look at these just look at the environment it's just just look at that just look at it that's amazing these are the best graphics I've ever seen for an open world such as this this is just amazing I just want to kill this person just hold on whoa it's a tiger my god that is scary sorry we're gonna have to die I've seen you now I'm one of those people just have to kill everyone last stand noob God, I feel sort of bad. C can this person die? Oh, oh god. I'm so sorry, Mr. Quest Target. Oh god, oh well. I was never here. Come on, horsey, let's go. Right, okay. As I was saying, I'm not too sure what I was saying actually. Yes, the graphics. Um, also, flowing water. You're fine now, see? You just got a few blood stains everywhere. Flying water is just amazing as well. It's um, it's supposed to be based around what is it? A European sort of climate. So sort of um, just look at it. It's just amazing. That's it. That's all I have to say. It's just amazing. Like I said before, the gameplay and just the game in general is just feels incredibly smooth and just easy to just get immersed in. Like honestly, it's just it's just amazing. And uh, from what I've been told, the story is really good as well. Oh, some. Darty music's come on. And no, I do not usually say that word. Let's let's kill this guy. He's got nothing on me. You wanna go? You, 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 you wanna go? Come on. Oh! Man! He's hurting me. What the fuck? 
Okay, I, apparently I just died. But I don't believe this game. This game clearly is lying. I never die. Anyways, uh, Modern Warfare 3. I am currently about 2,000th in the world. And... That's not... That amazing, but I'm pretty sh I'm pretty happy with that since I haven't played anything but for the last um, a couple of weeks. I'm about oh shit! Don't worry, I have a mountain horse. Um, early on today, I actually climbed to the tallest mountain in the game uh, with my horse, and I think that's amazing because horses don't usually do that in real life. So, or do they? I'll leave that one up to you. Let's do that again. I'm going to display some horse, mountain horse um, attributes here. See if you can climb up this thing. You'd be surprised. There you go. Horses can climb up anything in Skyrim. There we go. Come on. Come on, little horsey. Sprint up the mountain, little horsey. You can do anything you put your mind to. Maybe not that one. God damn it, he surprises even me. And I've seen what this this horsey can do. Come on. There we go. Anyway, so I'm about third prestige, level 60. 59, 60, I'm not too sure. And, um... I'm really liking it. I think they've done a lot more than they did with... Uh, I'm not too sure, actually. It's a bit, it's a bit of a tough call. I mean, a lot of people say that it's more of an expansion than a sort of sequel, well, uh, like a third game. Um, it's, it certainly looks like one, except when you actually get into the game you sort of appreciate that they have actually done a lot more with the graphics than you, you'd originally think for videos and things. I think this thing is still chasing me. What? That's not a dragon, is it? Please say it's not a fucking dragon. It's, it's a dragon! Fucking dragon. I don't... Wait, where? Where is he? Oh god, is, a f is that a frost dragon? Oh shit, I'm gonna run. <laughs> screw you, screw you, horse. Oh, this isn't this isn't cool. I'm going to have to pause my uh, Modern Warfare 3 discussions here. And that's a fucking thing chasing me. This game is what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> help, <laughs> help someone. <laughs> I, d I, I can't be b okay. Fine. Um, what was that? Restoration? Yep. Healing. Let's put that in the left hand. And then... We'll have items. What weapon should I have? I'll have... A... Dwarven sword of... Bur nah, let's just go that one. Right. Come on. Let's do this, dragon. I'll take you down. Healing myself. <laughs> the fuck? I'm scared. There's a what? It's a what? A blood dragon. Does that mean... Yeah, like... Okay. The epic moment went and I just died. As you can see, dragons can come out of nowhere and rape you up the bum. Uh, that was... Uh, shut up. Alright, uh, that was on the uns unsuspecting dragon coming out of nowhere. And I didn't enjoy that. Um, Modern Warfare 3, as I was saying, is a good game, I reckon. It, uh, like I said, a lot of people think it's like an expansion, but once you play it, you realise it, it... It does look a lot better than it's than, than Modern Warfare 2. A lot better. Especially if you go back and, and play Modern Warfare 2 afterwards, you're like, wow, I would much rather be playing Modern Warfare 3. And if you would much rather be playing Modern Warfare 3, then obviously it's better. The gameplay definitely doesn't feel like Modern Warfare 2. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, Most of... I mean... Well, some of it does uh, more the movement, but the gunplay, I reckon, uh, feels a lot more like Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, and I think they they really did think about that, because Call of Duty... Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking kidding? This is bullshit! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, fuck dragons. And, okay, so, I think... Uh, they actually thought about that because Call of Duty 4 
was definitely a revolutionary COD game. I mean, from COD 3 to COD 4 was an amazing step. And I mean, like, these things are annoying me a lot. Um, I mean, it was, like, you brought in perks, kill streaks, um, uh, to, uh, proper, like, full-on attachments. Like, it was just, um, it was just, like, all this new stuff coming in. Like, sure, it had some OP stuff, and it wasn't really balanced, but it it had this sort of new feel, and I think with Modern Warfare 2, I, th I think I got away from that. I, I think I might have got away from that. No, he's still down there, but he, he doesn't know I'm here, which is always good. Um, I'm going to go up to here, because I have balls. Um, yeah, but I think that's what they were trying to achieve in Modern Warfare 3. Oh, shit. Flying horse! <laughs> I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Um, I think that's what they're trying to achieve in Modern Warfare 3. Um, sort of going back to that feel of COD 4, because it definitely went down better than Modern Warfare 2. Uh, and you can definitely feel that when playing it, and you can't really get that feeling when watching it on the video. <coughs> uh, it does. It definitely doesn't feel as chaotic as Modern Warfare 2 did. I mean, there was kill streaks and air, just air support, and fucking noob tubes, and everything just flying about. Um, and y y you could just literally just walk out of a building and just fall over and die, and you just wouldn't be surprised. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's it, you know, it's Modern Warfare 2 for you. This definitely seems to tone down a bit. I mean, definitely, I mean, of course you can just get some bullshit deaths, but mm, for the most part, it, it, it's pretty, it's pretty, um, tame for that sort of thing. Uh, for the, the campaign... The story is amazing. That wasn't a fucking dragon, was it? That not have been. Wait, are you fucking kidding? For fuck! I, I, I'm pretty sure I've heard that dragons are not scripted, and they come a complete random. Wait, it's the same dragon though. Right. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe I shouldn't have gone down there then. Is this dragon still chasing me? Or? Oh, now there's, now there's wolves. This is, this is, um, this is Skyrim for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm incredibly tired. Uh, we're going to make some videos on Skyrim. Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, haven't even spoken about Battlefield 3. Squid Gaming is going to be making lots of fucking videos, and it's going to be awesome. So, subscribe, like, and keep watching. And I'm going to go to bed, so, good night, and... Look out for the next videos, because they're going to be good. See you later.